In the biotech world, images can be really, really essential for communication. And there's a couple reasons why this is true. One is that most of our cutting edge science now is happening at a very, very small scale at the level of cells and molecules and even atoms. And even with the best of our sophisticated microscopes and new imaging devices, we can't really see what's going on at that level. So images are very important in understanding and describing what we think is going on down there. And there's another reason why images are so important. Scientists need to communicate now more than ever, and often to people who aren't experts in science, sometimes to people who don't know anything about science at all. And these might be investors, or they might be patients and their families. Or sometimes there are promising new technologies like stem cell research that are controversial. And scientists need to educate the general public and people who are making important policy decisions about these technologies. Remember what happened to Gregor Mendel. New scientific discoveries, no matter how promising, need to be understood in order to be accepted. The problem is, this is how scientists are used to talking to each other. And that's kind of a problem for the rest of us. And even if we're really lucky and they create a visual aid, this is often what it looks like. So it's pretty hard for, for you or really anybody outside a very narrow field of science to understand this. But artists can help bridge this communication gap. This is an illustration of Tamiflu. And you may be familiar with Tamiflu. It's been getting a lot of press lately because it's a flu treatment. And it's been shown to be effective for the swine flu, the H1N1 virus. It was also developed by a local company, Gilead Sciences, uh, in Foster City. So this illustration is very simplified. This yellow shape represents the drug Tamiflu. And this large green shape over here is the evil flu virus. And it's shown almost like the surface of it is cut. And these red things protruding out of the surface, kind of like flowers, are enzymes. And these enzymes are what allow the flu virus to replicate and spread throughout the body. So that's not a good thing. And this illustration shows the drug Tamiflu coming in and plugging up the enzymes. And the ones over here are all plugged up, and that deactivates them so the virus can no longer replicate and spread throughout the body. So which one is easier to understand? <laughs> now, you might say that the bottom one is more realistic, but I can assure you that Tamiflu and enzymes and flu viruses do not look anything like that at all. The reason the lower one is easier to understand is that the artist is taking advantage of the way your brain works. And this illustration takes things that are already familiar to you, shapes and colors and three-dimensional space, and uses those elements to build on it and then present new information to you. So it's easier for you to absorb the new information. So where are we heading in the future? How might artists and scientists work together in the future? <laughs>